another awesome day. Oh, I love Jesus. In my heart, in my stomach. I feel so good inside. Look at that beautiful light, man. Life is awesome. That sounds sweet. That's bad. Come on, that's, that's a 92 cubic inch. I read in my book, manual. I've been reading at it, it's hard. It's just a little manual book, but it's still taking me a long time to read it. It's a little thing. But I did get to read the part where it showed the numbers. Uh, this thing that gets, uh, this thing's got 78 to 93 horse. Up to 93 horsepower. According to that book, that's amazing. That's because of technology, dude. Well, I didn't mean to say dude, but guys, ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and sisters, technology. I mean, man, eight gaskets of seal throughout the engine. Uh, your air breather is uh, up top here. Uh, further away from the pipes that most of them has it on the side, like your, your uh, Hondas and Kawasaki, Yamaha, Suzuki, Harley Davidson, they all have that exhaust, I mean that uh, air breather on that side, on the pipe, which uh, is pretty close to that heat. The pipes kick off the heat, uh, but Victory designed their engine so that would be on top. And look at the oil cooler thing, man. That's an oil cooler thing. Right there. This thing holds five quarts of oil. It's got a double pressure, oil pressure. Double pumper oil pressure, man. It's pumping the oil throughout the bottom of the engine, then it pumps it up into the, through the top. The thing, the thing that's massive, it keeps cool a lot cooler than your average V twin engine. And so, uh, it's fun talking about this. I love you. We just, I'm just a huge motorcycle fan. Uh, I like to have a Bible verse put on there. Uh, First Corinthians 15. I think verse 57 but thanks be to God who gives me the that it had the victory logo right there the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord and that'd be something I, I'm not sure if I got the exact scripture exactly right but it'd be a KJV scripture going on there and it's going to be nice uh, yeah, this engine, man, that, it's, it's on idle. Uh, the choke chain's all the way down. It, it, it sounds amazing, man. It's just like, it's sweet sounding. I shut this off. I warmed it up. I like I like to keep it warmed up. Eventually, I've got to pull the battery and take it in before it gets real, real cold, uh, which I'll do. And take it in and keep it in the warm temperatures and, and take my little battery charger I got in here in, in the house and keep trickle charge on it over here and there keep it strong uh, use the motorcycle battery you almost have to replace one once or twice a year I had to replace one once a year on my uh, V-Star uh, I'm here doing a oh uh, I got up and got some prayer in today I felt good in my soul uh, I need I need to do a walk I, I did a warm-up on my bike uh, cold start again today. It was really cold in here. It started right up, man. It was like It didn't take long for that thing to crank over. I'm gonna do a little walk. I'm hurting a little bit today I got a pinch nerve kicking in my left side. So this is one of them uh, Not so good feeling days. It feels physically, but I'm gonna give it a try walking around here uh, In this garage. I, I, uh, I could walk outside I Open the door up and walk outside. I should probably but uh, I like to stay close to the little couch I got here. Uh, this pinch nerve takes me down. I can get to that couch. See, uh, this is a major problem in my backfires, I guess. So some days I'll be good. And other days I had this while I was at work, you know. And uh, it would hurt even getting in a vehicle, a car or something. To, but you believe it or not, a motorcycle, that V-Star, set me in the in, in this position where it took the pressure off my back 
It felt good. I mean, it was like a, I put my feet up on the uh, feet boards and it put me in a good spot. It was comfortable. It felt good, like a relief. Man, I'm hurting today. But uh, uh, I'm not moving so fast like I was yesterday. Mom and I got our juice and then for the fourth time, uh, we're gonna continue doing this juicing. Uh, we got a fat burning diet juicing and a bunch of other stuff that's in it that fights cancer, fight the 57% fight against cancer successful rate uh, that the doctors don't tell you about because they are paid by the medicine, the you know pills over the, from the pharmacies and stuff. So there's remedies and juicing that actually does you really good. Uh, um, Brother Matt Maddox has got a I think two juicing books out there. Uh, he said he was going to give me one one time. He, he uh, the the first one he's got. He he told me a long time ago. I'm going to send you one. He never did. <laughs> he's too busy. Uh, plus, I guess he needs the money. And maybe I'll buy the books off him eventually when I get some money. I love him. Brother Matt Maddox is awesome. He's an awesome soul winner, awesome preacher. Uh, man, he, he's, he's got a heart and passion for people, that's for sure. And that's what uh, all of us need. And I think it's, I think that's inside of me too. I'm pretty, I know I, uh, it is. Uh, we're getting a little bit more speed here, but I still hurt a little bit, but I got that that came with it. Uh, the latch don't want a latch. I think it needs a key. And these saddlebags got keys locked on it and they didn't have the keys with it. So uh, I'm hoping the key place there uh, can fit make keys for them things. I don't know if they can or not. But, I'll be checking on that in the future. Uh, yeah, this is a amazing day. I mean, we we're in December. We got 60 degree weather coming at us. Middle of December. Uh, man, I need a miracle for paying my phone bill. I need a miracle, financial miracle. Uh, <clears throat> God's got this, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm totally trusting in Him, hoping uh, I, I wish I could work. Uh, that Unum company, man, they dropped my claim using their doctors. Then uh, uh, saying that I could do security officer work long time setting that something so I applied for a security job for the DHS building and I know they set and uh, but uh, they set most of the time and walk sometimes but when they did the interview with me they asked me if I could stand for eight hours and I told them the truth I said there's no way I would be on the ground hurting. I said, but I could do that DHS building security where I'm, uh, I thought I could, but you know what? Even even with the, the, the spasms on my back, sometimes puts me down for a week at a time where I can't even get out of bed. So I can't even do that. It would be, and they turned me down anyways. They said, no, you can't have a security job. So Unum's doctors are wrong, Unum's wrong. I can't do a security job. Uh, I'm not very smart with reading. I wouldn't be able to do a desk job. <laughs> uh, uh, I, uh, but I would hope that if I could, I would do it because I'm a Republican at thinking. What's a Republican's thinking is uh, earn your living, you know. Uh, you success you have the right to be successful you have the right to uh, tap into the B type business and create yourself wealth 
as much as you want. But the uh, Democratic side, side seems to think uh, the wealthy people are evil people and they should pay for the poor people that don't want to work. Don't want to do nothing but get high, drunk, and stuff like that, and kick out babies. Live off of the people that works. And I don't agree with that philosophy. And I tried my best to hold on to my job. I wanted to work. I loved going to work. I was like excited to go to work. I was passionate about my job. I was passionate about becoming a team, or being one of the, you know, brother and sisters of the workforce, you know, how back to back going, you know, pumping each other up. Hey, let's do this, man. Let's pump these parts out. Let's make them top of the line. No defects. No defects for over a hundred days. I wanted that so bad. You know, I was passionate. And that, uh, but I'm passionate about Jesus more. Uh, I mean, I like bikes. I'm passionate about